channel. My name is Jess and today as you can tell by the title I am doing a review of um, Thin Slim Foods and I ordered a sampler pack and I first heard about this from um, Erin over, I first saw it on her Instagram. She had something about um, Thin Slim Foods on, I think she had snapped a picture or something. And then um, I found her video and she had done a review of it and she also posted a link in her um, on her video where you can get 50% off of the sampler pack so I did that so what I will do is in the description box below I will put a link to her video so you can also get 50% off if you would like so the box normally for the sampler pack is 30 like 39.97 um, and so I got mine for $19.98, I believe. And it was really fast shipping, I can say that. And there was no shipping costs on this at all for the, um, at least for the sampler, it was not. So what I'm going to show you is are all the products I got. I'll tell you the prices. Um, I tasted them, and my 16-year-old son tasted them, and my husband tasted a couple of them. Um, my husband's not a real fan of kind of like the what he calls fake sugar. But these have um, erythritol, I think that's how you say it. In them so it's like a sugar alcohol which I'm used to having sugar alcohols because I did do Atkins for a while so for me I can't taste that aftertaste that both my husband and my son said he they could taste and I don't know maybe I'm just used to it over the years of having foods with sugar alcohol alcohols apologize if you can hear my fan I'm in my bedroom and it's really hot in here so um, so I will kind of give you a review of what I thought of the texture and the taste so it comes in a box just like this and I was going to do an unboxing but I really wanted to try this stuff and so I just, just and it had to be in the refrigerator so otherwise I would just left it in the box until right before the video but it had to be in the refrigerator and I didn't have a lot of room in my refrigerator so it comes in a box like this like I said it was really fast shipping so first let's just go in order what my list is here the bread okay so I got the plain bread which looks like this and it has, for one slice, it is 50 calories. It has one net, one gram of net carbs, which means it minus out the fiber from the fiber. And if anybody who doesn't understand what net carbs are, that's when you minus out the fiber and any sugar alcohols from the carbs. So this does have one net gram, one gram of net carbs, and seven grams of fiber and seven grams of protein. Um, so it, it, I'm gonna, what I did, I pulled a piece out so I could show you, and I also brought in a piece that's one point a slice. All these are one point. All these foods are one point a serving. So for one slice, it's one point. So here is, here's what it looks like. And I want, I brought one of the pieces of the Sara Lee that I normally use, the Sara Lee 45 calorie bread, the one point bread. So you could kind of see the difference. So this bread is, it is thicker, um, and I can't, I don't have access to the Pepperidge Farm. Um, that a lot of people have also the one point bread I don't have that anymore in my town so I don't know how it would compare to this bread but because I've heard the preppage farm is a lot better anyway so you can see it's it's bigger than the Sara Lee um, and it is thicker so I just wanted to give you and Sara Lee is 45 calories and this is 50 so one thing that I said I tried it untoasted and I tried it toasted so I have a review of both one thing I want to show you first is it's very dense. That's definitely the texture of this. It's very, very dense. So even when you try to tear apart, I'm having trouble tearing it apart. See, that's that's the only thing about this bread. Let me see if I can read it. I'm still, with a span blowing, it's drying up my contacts. So let me see if I can read what the ingredients are. So it the ingredients are, I mean, it's non-GMO. It's wheat protein vital wheat gluten, oat fiber, modified wheat starch, flaxseed meal, almond flour, olive oil, chicory root, yeast, salt, stevia, apple cider vinegar. So it has all, you know, clean ingredients um, in this. So it does have to be refrigerated, refrigerated, so lab verified nutrition, taste satisfaction, no sugar, no blood sugar spikes. So, and this is a 16 ounce loaf. So, but yeah, the texture is really strange. So, our first um, reaction to it as far as not toasted, it, the taste isn't bad. It, it's not, the taste is not bad. I did not really have an aftertaste. Both my husband and my son said they could, they had an aftertaste. It's probably the stevia. 
I don't like stevia. I don't use it, and but I couldn't taste it in the bread myself. Um, but the texture is very dense. It's very chewy, kind of spongy, um, with not toasted. Now, when you toast it, the texture gets a lot better. Um, and I did toast it, and I sprayed it with some spray butter. Um, so it tastes much better toasted. Um, again, I didn't get an aftertaste. They both did. So, um, but the texture does improve once it's toasted. It's still just a tad spongy kind of but not as bad as it is untoasted so I think it would be really good for maybe like a grilled cheese sandwich you could use spray butter on there and use some of the um, fat free cheese slices which are zero you could have two of them for one point I think it'd be really good I might try that and see how that tastes um, oh and I should mention the prices too so they're kind of spendy um, so this loaf is $7.99 so, like a loaf of the Sara Lee that I buy that's bigger than this, I mean, as far as more of a loaf, um, is $3.78 in my town. So, so take, keep that in mind. So, the next thing is going to be, I'm sorry, I have to reach back here. I'm just going in order of my list here, are the brownies. So, here's what it looks like. And I just took, we just took a little corner. Again, this is one point. So, this is what the brownie looks like. Okay, so... We have um, 45 calories, 2 net carbs, 8 fiber, and 6 protein. Um, so the taste, it's okay. <laughs> it wasn't great. I It reminded me of, and actually it's kind of funny because my husband brought it up um, years ago when I was on Atkins. I guess it wasn't years ago, but when I was on Atkins, I tried the black bean um, brownies. I did not like them, and it could be I didn't make them right. I don't know. I mean, it... I thought about trying them again, but that's what it tasted like to us was the black bean brownies. So it just wasn't that great. It's really spongy. Um, it's kind of, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It kind of has a wet feel to it, and I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, I'm just going to look for the ingredients here. So I could tell you. Okay, well, I can't, I guess there's no, oh wait, under the little tab. So this has purified water, erythanol, oat fiber, egg whites, cornstarch, cocoa, almond meal, olive oil. Um, so this has, this does have 10 grams of sugar alcohol, so. Um, I know some people have issues with sugar alcohols. It's never affected me negatively, but, um, Anyway, so it wasn't bad. This is $2.49 for this square. Um, it is a two ounce. So, I mean, I guess it just depends on how much you want to pay to have a brownie. That is only one point. So I guess that's kind of what you have to ask yourself with all these foods. Okay, the next thing is the almond square. So this is what that looks like. Again, this is a two ounce package. And it's really white. You can see that. This also is really wet, and I don't, I don't know what why what causes that. But okay, so almond square. The taste, I really like this. Um, my my son, not at all. And actually, even with the brownie, he kind of gagged. <laughs> so, but I mean, I don't. The the brownie's not gag worthy. It's just that was just him. I think he's 16. This though, he yeah. He did not like this at all. My husband didn't try this one, but um, I liked it. I thought it was really good. It has a really spongy texture to it, really wet texture to it, but I really liked this. Um, this has 40 calories, 2 net carbs, 6 protein, and 8 fiber. Let me make sure I have that right. 6 protein, yeah, and 8 fiber, and this has 10 sugar alcohols as well. So this is the almond square. And this is two dollars and forty nine cents. Also, the next thing is it's probably our favorite out of all of them, and this is the vanilla muffin. So we did eat half of it between the two of us. My husband didn't try this either. He was eating his Hostess cupcakes that he he says is much better than any of this stuff. <laughs> so, um, so this is the package. So this is just called the vanilla muffin. This has forty calories, two net carbs six protein and eight fiber and I hope I got that right this is um, the package is was really kind of smeared on this one 
So, um, this does say freeze upon receipt, but I just got this a couple days ago. Three, two, three days, it's been my refrigerator. So, this was really good. It tastes, well, actually my husband did try this one now that I think about it. Because he's the one that kind of told me after I tasted it, I was like, this tastes like something. And he said it tastes like pound cake, which is exactly what it tastes like. Um, it has a texture like pound cake, and it tastes like pound cake. This was really good. And these are also $2.49. I might consider buying something like this because it is only one point and maybe just buying a few of them and throwing them in the freezer and you just have a nice little snack when you just, um, you know, when you just want something. But I mean, I know it's expensive, but um, yeah. And there's a little note on here. I didn't know this. It says 100% erythanol sweetened. The only sugar al alcohol proven to not cause stomach distress. So there's that. Anyway, so this was this was really good. And like again, these are all one point, so and it's a nice size muffin. You can kind of see, like I said, I we ate half of it. So it's just a regular size, like just a regular, you know, muffin tin, muffin size. Okay, so vanilla cookie is next. And this is actually a pretty good size. We just cut like a little section off of it. Um so here's the package. This is 40 calories. 2 carbs, 7 fiber, 6 protein. This is $2.49. This had no flavor. I don't, I mean, maybe it was just me. I don't know. But even my son said so too. He, we just had no flavor. The texture is fine. I mean, the texture is, is more like a muffin than a cookie. Because um, for me, cookies, like, I like that crispy and soft, you know, kind of texture. To me, that's a cookie. Unless you're going for a full crunchy cookie. But, so this is more like a muffin top. That's what I would call this, more like a muffin top. But um, it just has no flavor. Like the vanilla, like this is a this is called a vanilla cookie. The vanilla muffin had tons of flavor. Oh, my husband just vacuumed too. <laughs> but this had tons and tons of flavor. This had no flavor. It was really strange. So um, I probably would never would not purchase this. I mean, it wasn't horrible. Like I said, the texture was fine. Just had no flavor so and it definitely didn't even have like the pound cake texture like the like the muffin did but I don't know just not my favorite and then the chocolate glaze cookie this thing was messy look you can even kind of see it when I, this is how it was when I got it I mean of course it's really warm and so it's fine at the best time of year but so this is basically from what I could tell is the vanilla cookie with chocolate on top so this has 63 calories Three carb, eight protein, seven fiber. This is two dollars and forty nine cents. It's the same size as the vanilla cookie, um, but it just has chocolate glaze on there. This was really good. Um, it really improved that vanilla cookie that had no flavor. <laughs> so the glaze was tastes like chocolate. I mean, you would not even know that this was a chocolate that you know doesn't cause any points. I mean, this was. I was really impressed with this. Um, the texture was fine. I mean, it wasn't, I mean, like I said, again, it's not a cookie to me. To me, it's like a muffin top with chocolate glaze on there. So, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. I don't know if I would spend $2.49 on there, but it's not as bad. And then finally is the pasta. So this is called Impostable, and it's a low-carb pasta that I got the Rotini. So this says, real pasta, real taste, real healthy. 65 calories, 36 grams of fiber, 6 grams of protein, and 8 grams of net carbs. Now, this is an 8-ounce package. It serves 4 people. So it's 2 ounces per serving. One point again. Um, this What it says in the back. I'll read what it says in the back. It says, wholesome pasta you can enjoy with far less carbs. Don't settle for imitation noodles or fake food. Real taste. We are that confident you will love our pasta. It comes with a taste guarantee. We pride ourselves on using the very best quality natural ingredients that fit in with your diet and keep you healthy. So you're supposed to just boil this for about 46 minutes. Four to six. <laughs> Sorry, kind of sound like 46. Um, this is made from oat fiber, wheat fiber, wheat protein, egg whites, durum flour. So, so I kind of have a... Let's start with texture first. It... So when you first bite into it, and I have some right here, that well, somewhere, there it is. So it's you know, 
it's nice and firm after you after you know after you cook it. I mean, it holds its shape, which you know I don't know if any if any of you have had like um, what do you call it, like brown rice pasta and stuff. It can get kind of it can get kind of chewy and kind of, but that's what this kind of reminds me of in a way after you eat it. So anyway, so it, it holds its shape. This is after it's been cooked. It holds its shape really good. Um, when you, for, oh, and this does say soy and shiitake free, um, which the shiitake noodles, I don't know if any of y'all had them, but I don't like them. <laughs> so anyway, so, um, so when you first take a bite, it, it's good. You have that, you know, that pasta, you know, and it's like, oh, kind of pasta, you know, and I did it plain because I really wanted to get the full, you know, just the natural flavor of this pasta not covered up with sauce. So when you first bite into it, yeah, it's good. You start chewing it, and then all of a sudden it's just gone. Like it just dissolves, just kind of disintegrates into your mouth. It's not a really, it's not a bad taste. It's just a kind of a strange occurrence, I guess you could say. I don't know. It's just, the taste is good. It does not have a bad flavor at all. It's just, like I was just saying, it just has, it's just when you eat it, and then all of a sudden it's gone. So I don't know. I mean, I'm going to definitely use this. Um, for sure. I mean, it's, it's $7.99 for this package. So again, it just depends on, you know, depends on you if you want to spend the money. For me, really, it, it wouldn't be that bad for me to spend the money because I, me and then my 16 year old son sometimes are the only ones that eats Weight Watchers kind of in a way, you know, the Weight Watchers way. My stepson and my husband do not. They eat just regular food. So I do cook two meals a day for dinner. So for me to spend $7.99, not bad because this has this would be four meals in here for me if I, I was just eating it. And that would be fine. I mean, I it's not like I'm feeding my whole family with it. And I think that might be the same way with a lot of people. And so it, it might not be bad. That's what I'm saying like with these muffins. I mean, I could buy three or four of them throw them in my freezer and I'm going to have them. I could have one a week if I wanted to and that would last me a month. I mean, I don't have to worry about anybody else eating them because no one else is going to want them. So for me, that's, you know, it's not the bread. I mean, my, my son does use like the Sara Lee bread and the sandwich thins and stuff I buy. He prefers those rather than the white bread that my husband likes. So the bread I probably would not repurchase. The pasta, I'm not sure. I'm going to try. I'm going to finish the rest of this bag. Try with a few different things um, and see what I think. Um, so going through everything else, like I said, the muffins I may repurchase. The brownies I would not. The cookie I would not just because it has no flavor. The almond square I might. It's not bad. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and just to another reminder, I will put a link to Aaron's channel. Aaron's um, video below. I think I mentioned that in the beginning. I, so I've done a couple of these takes, so I can't remember if I mentioned it. But I, yeah, I saw this on, for Erin's Weight Loss Journey is her channel. And I will link the video down below of um, where you can get 50% off by going through her video. There's a link in her video. So if you go through that link, you can get 50% off of your own sampler pack. And it would be, like I said, 1998 for the sampler pack. Um, it's normally $39.97. So like I said, there's no shipping. It's shipped really fast. And um, so, you know, you might just try it. I guess just because I didn't give, you know, 100% great reviews on everything, that's just my own personal taste. Everybody has a different, you know, feels differently about food. You know, that's for sure. I mean, I don't like fish and seafood. People love it. You know, I wish I liked it, <laughs> but I don't. So, you know, you just, and I think it's, I think it's worth spending the $20 just to know, just to know if all these, you know, one point foods is something that you would like. So anyway, um, just leave a comment down below and let me know if you've tried any of these foods or if you plan on ordering them. And again, like I said, I will link her video, Erin's video down below and just, um, let me know if you are going to order some and try it. So I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.